Hey everyone. Um, it's Saturday. I think we're in week five. Maybe we started week six. I don't know. So anyways, today we're going to do a spicy Korean beef. I'm just going to marinate it right now. And then uh, later I'm going to cook it on the grill. So I wanted to show you this marinade because it's a great marinade. All right, so I prepped up all the ingredients. Here's our steak. It's a piece of flank steak. I'm going to put that on the grill. Um, and we have two tablespoons of just regular olive oil. The thing with olive oil is to coat everything. So. One and a half um, of the chili paste. So this is one and a half tablespoons of the chili paste. This is the chili paste right here. It's called a uh, gu cha yang, but it is the best chili paste. Um, you get it and you don't have to refrigerate it until it's opened. It's You can find it in the aisles of the store that are for like the different, this is under Asian as it's Korean. Okay, so we are all the different style of uh, food side, the international food section. This is that. And then it has to be refrigerated once you open it. So it's one and a half tablespoons of that. It's like the magic for this sauce too because it's really good. Um, next I have the chili powder. This is, they asked, they call it chili powder, but this is all I had. And this is very spicy anyways. It's one and a half tablespoons, which is, <laughs> I'm going to add a tablespoon of sesame oil. I love sesame oil. I think it makes everything taste good. Some people hate it, but I love it. Sesame oil, sugar. This is what's going to help sweeten it. It's one and a half tablespoons. Just plain white sugar. Um, so this is our ginger. It's all peeled and minced. But what I wanted to show you is how to peel it. And you can use it. So it comes in a big piece, similar, bigger than this because I've already used it twice. It's like tubular. You get it in the produce section. And you take your spoon... And you just rub it against it like this and it peels it so that see how easy that is and you peel it before you do it so that's that okay but i had already done it for this recipe it's right here that's our um that's our ginger which you find in most asian dishes and then this is the garlic. Again, I, I did mine. When it says salt to taste, so I'm just going to put a little salt. Oh, I forgot the soy sauce. That's the soy sauce. So I'm going to mix all this around. And then you can marinate one to, I don't know, a few hours. And this is good for chicken too, but... Um, I like to put it on the beef. So, I take my bag and I take my meat. Put my meat in there. And this is just like I said, blank. Blank is a tougher piece of meat, so you have to marinate it in order to break down some of those tough fibers. But it's a really tasty piece of meat after it's been marinated. Take this, pour all this in there. Take a spoon, scrape it down. Get every bit, last bit of this marinade because it's really good. And because I put it all on the beef, I can't use it on anything else, but that's right, I don't have anything I really want to put it on. I do have some chicken in there, but we're going to make it a different way. So, take my bag, close it up. And now I'm going to 
tranny just by putting all this on here and making sure that it all gets marinated. I'm going to put it in the fridge for a few hours. Later on, I'm going to go out in the grill and I'll show you it when it's done. After it comes off the grill, I'll show you how it cuts and how, how nice it is. All right. So this is spicy Korean beef. Serve it with some, I don't know, rice or some stir-fried vegetables. Okay, I hope you're being good. Hope you're being good to your parents. Hope you're being kind. This was a tough week. We found out we're not going back this week, so we had to kind of transition into um, end-of-the-year stuff. So I hope you're all safe. Stay safe, stay home. Home is where it's safe.